topic was uh, the persons of God and the parts of man. Um, and there's multiple sections, and today we covered the first section of this topic. So it was more over uh, the persons of God. And so the question that we had kind of tackled was, is God three or is he one? Um, so we know that there's God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit. And so the question is, is God the Father, is he the Son, or is he the Spirit, or is he all three? Um, and so we use the analogy of a watermelon. And so God the Father is sort of like the actual melon, right? Um, but then the Son is like slices of watermelon. And then the Spirit is like, they're sort of the, the juices after it gets assimilated into you, right? And so this life of the Father and of the Son, it's also the Spirit because it's, all three of them are also a watermelon. And you're getting, when you, when you eat the watermelon, you're still getting the watermelon, right? And so when you ask yourself, okay, well, is this slice the watermelon? Well, you can't say no because technically the watermelon slice came from the watermelon. And the watermelon juice is essentially the watermelon, right? And so we saw that God is three and he's one. Um, and so it was very crucial for us to understand that. Um, and that this is the way which God uh, accomplishes his economy, right? God, when he's in this, as the spirit, when we eat him, the spirit gets ingested into us and then we get this life of the, of the son and of the father, right? And God's goal in his economy is to dispense himself and his life into us.